Dave, uh, obviously the team made its final or one of its final transactions yesterday. Just wondering what were the challenges this season uh, in coming to that conclusion of the roster without the luxury of the um, taxi squad last year? Well, it was a unique year with the taxi squad because you knew you could carry so many bodies. So there wasn't really there wasn't as many hard decisions last year because you you know there was there was going to be extra guys this year. It came down to some hard decisions. You know you got um, you know on defense we had Laggy kind of battling for a spot there, and he ended up uh, uh, he cleared today. I saw now he's battling a bit of an injury, so we'll see where that goes the next couple of days. But uh, and then up up front we you know. Kenny and his group, we just decided uh, we're going to try some different things and we were glad Terry got through today. He stays on the team and uh, he's had some talks with, with Colton just to see where he's at. Um, so we'll see where that goes the next couple of days and the rest of it is uh, now it's more about who's in the lineup and who's out and some of that will depend on injury stuff. Uh, Benson and McLeod, um, what did you see from both of them in the preseason? Because both of them, uh, you know, didn't put Tyler on waivers. Obviously, you must have seen enough to realize that he can be a player on your team right now. Well, there's Kyle on waivers. There's a lot, lot more to it than Kyle being on waivers. And you know, I, Kyle had a really good camp. We we didn't want to lose him. We didn't want to lose him. So. And the other two players, Mac doesn't have to clear waivers, but we think he's close to making our lineup. I think Devin Shore played better than him in camp, in, through camp, and so Devin Shore is going to start in that position. And uh, and on the left wing, we had a number of guys there that Perlini, Perlini played better than Benson did in camp. That's so, as it looks right now, depending on some injury stuff, McLeod and Benson will be the odd guys out at forward. And... Uh, you know, that line of Shore and, and Perlini and Turris played well, so they just won the spot. They won the, won the, they won the spot in, for the opening roster. Uh, where it goes from there, things change quickly, as you know, Jim. I want, just want to ask you, you've coached a long time, and everybody makes a big deal about the opening night roster, but sometimes a guy gets sent down. I remember Darnell Nurse several years ago got sent to the minors and was called back up in November and never went back. So yeah. it's, is it... Just an arbitrary thing, you know. Everybody gets excited. Who's in the opening night roster? No, I think it's what it's the meaning of training camp. You know, there's you have players that if a coach goes out there and tells a player that you have a chance to make our team in training camp, the player feels like he has a legitimate chance to do that, and that's you like to set it up that way, where players that come in and earn jobs, they get jobs, and that's so that's the. To me, that's the the opening night roster. Are there's ob, there's players that are obviously going to be on that, but the ones that are on the bubble, there's guys that are going to earn it, and that's that's what's happened in our camp. So, I think that's a good thing, you know. Whether it's and like I say, opening night roster is. I mean, everybody wants to play the first game. I guarantee you, things are going to change between one and 82, but uh, but you use camp to give the guys credit who came in and played well. And that's game one, we'll do that. One question on the goaltending. A couple of years ago, you, you played Smith and Koskinen. One guy would play a couple of games. You play the another goalie a couple of games. Are you going to go back to that now? I don't know if we'll go back to that exact thing there, but we're going to keep both of them going. Not One guy won't be out of the net for a long time. Thank you. Dave, uh, the team is clearly deeper. You've made some you know, additions with Hyman and Pugliarvi is a different player now than maybe what you thought last January when he came in. Is the expectation level for your group changed? I mean, you have come in second in the division each of the last two years, but do you feel a greater confidence maybe about what you have and what this team collectively might be able to achieve? Well, we've talked about continuing to build what we've been doing and, and get better. So our expectations are to improve over last year and, and keep moving forward. So in that sense, yeah, we, we, our expectations are higher than last year. We, uh, we want to continue to improve. And, you know, we've, like you say, we've added some players to our group that I think help us, but 
You can put all the names on the paper you want. You still got to get out on the ice and do it. And you got to do it each and every night. And if you want to become a, you know, like we've been 12th and 11th the last couple of years. Now like, we want to be in the top 10. We want to get in that top 10 and keep pushing forward. But you got to play strong, consistent hockey. You've got to play well as a team. You got to get a few breaks along the way. Injuries is, can be a factor. So there's all those factors that come into play. But our expectation is we want to continue to improve and see where that takes us. Nurse was fourth in the league last year in ice time. Keith led Chicago in ice time 16 straight years. I, he's going to be pushing to play. Do you, I mean, did you have conversations that he may not play, you know, play as much? I think I, I'd be, I think both of them might play a little less, which could be good for both of them and good for our team. What did you think of Keith and CeCe the last couple of games as training camp and exhibition games went on? As as they, the second game was was better. You know, we didn't uh, going into Vancouver. A lot of you know, Vancouver had basically their team in there, and and uh, without Nurse and Barry in there, they got extra minutes. Those extra minutes, and both of them are good veteran, smart players. They they do things in the game that are smart. Uh, I like the way Keith moves the puck. He moves it quick. Yeah, he's good on the offensive blue line. So I think uh, they've, they've started to build something. And, you know, we'll keep them going here and see if they can continue to, to build that or improve. And, but for a couple of games together, I think they've been all right. Hi, Dave. Just back here. I'm just wondering if you have any uh, clarity or any update about uh, Zach Cassian and, um, since we last spoke. Oh, he's day-to-day -day still. Day-to-day -day still... Uh, in some protocols, but he's he's skating again. He skated this morning, and he's. If you went and talked to him right now, you would think there's nothing wrong with him. But they're just, you know, it's the protocols that come with an injury like that that they're going to follow. You know, obviously that that line that he was on with Ryan and Fogel that game in particular, they were really kind of humming and mm -hmm. uh, throwing their weight around and doing the things you probably want to see them do. How does the dynamic of that line change with him on the line and with him without him on the line? I don't think the line should change his mindset at all. I mean, that's Zach is a big, strong player who obviously, you know, has the, the attributes to play like that. But we have other players that can play that also. And, you know, we had Sevier in there today, and, and we'll see where that goes. If Zach can't play, he's probably the guy to go in there. But he's a smart, grinding, physical player. That's what we're looking for in that spot. So, so. Uh, Cass, you know, that's a role that we think Cass can be really good at. If Cass is near, somebody else has to take up that slack. And what are the things that you see from some, from Sevier that could make him a, a, an important part of this team? Just a, you know what, he's one of those guys, just a good, smart pro. Carries himself like a pro, prepares like a pro, um, can penalty kill, smart, smart in situations, and recognizes what he has to do to contribute on our team. You know, so he's... Uh, He's just a good, steady pro that very similar to what Shorzy gave us last year coming in. He just he gives you another body that uh, you can play in some different situations. Dave, uh, Tyson said he's looking forward to facing the Seattle Kraken for the first time, visiting Vegas for the first time in a long time. Um, things that are normal in a regular, nor, uh, regular season are. What are you looking forward to uh, this year? I think all the players, coaches, there's... There's two key things. One, fans. You know, we, we didn't get to be part of any fans last year, so that's a big part of it. And two is just getting back to a normal normal schedule where you're playing other teams and you're, you're enthused to go into Vegas or you're enthused to go in. Um, you know, Seattle will be a fun game for just because they're new. It would be a fun game for me to go there and see the building and stuff. So just to get back to a normal schedule with fans, everybody's looking forward to that. Yeah. One more question, Urus. What did he show you in this camp to me that, you, that he didn't show you in last year's camp? He just seems stronger, faster. I mean, he, he put an unbelievable summer of training in. I think the year before, he was kind of caught in the middle a little bit, trying to get the family moved up here, get going. We put him in a role of a centerman that uh, uh, he struggled with a little bit this year. He's come in really fit. Yeah, we've switched him over to right wing. He's got a good skill level. We've used him in some face-off stuff and some second power play stuff. And 
he just, uh, you know, he is. He's a good veteran that recognized he had a poor year, and he's going to try to prolong his career. And he put the work in, and he's, you know, he's been good for us in camp. So hopefully, he can carry it right into the regular season. Good. Thank you.